Yeah, I'm just gonna keep driving until I uh, find a really cool car. Oh, I'm gonna make a turn up here. <gasps> hey! You've been randomly selected to get pulled over, and your car's stolen. Sorry. Get out. Wow, someone, you're okay. Good job. I congratulate you in being stupid. Uh, excuse me? Uh, alright, that should be good. Yeah, I wouldn't drive near that, people. No. I gotta go this way, right? Come on, Trevor, I'm waiting for that call. You can call me any time now. There you go. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Alright, turn number two. Uh, this should go a little bit better. Uh, yeah. A little bit better. And a little bit faster. I will say. That was fucking cool. Made it. <sighs> Where is he? <sighs> Look at the dirt bike. Why do you have his car? Man, a piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. <laughs> now, uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia. She already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. Little getaway, if you will. Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods. That was a really weird movie. Oh, I'm not even driving. All right. I can relax and sit here while you drive, Trevor. Oh, man. Ah. <sighs> But uh, I'm gonna end this recording right here because it seems a little bit off. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so uh, I'm back, but uh, I actually on pause and it switched to Franklin. So uh, yeah, you didn't miss anything. Just say so yeah, no. What does that do? Oh, all right. The fuck? But where the subtitle? You didn't even really say anything. What's up, chat? Might have to leave you, though. Might have to take a taxi somewhere. I don't know if dogs are allowed on taxis. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, who will go back to the house, right? Uh, I mean, I don't want to leave him out there. Oh. Uh. <sighs> 
Okay, he's gone forever. Alright, taxi. Hey, I need a cab. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Alright, thank. Hey, don't hit me, please. So I guess I could head to the Taylor Street. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you can stop for me, please. And uh, we're gonna jump on the car. What's your problem? I'll break your windshield if you start driving. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, you you didn't expect oh, that to happen. Crap, that hurt. How would you not expect that to happen? Are you stupid? And then you drive into it. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you there. Hey, my man, where you going? Oh, I thought a bomb was about to explode. I was like, oh shit, no. A rigged taxi. I should have known this was coming. Someone put a hit out on me. No. That was just a song. <sighs> Alright, $31. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Mm-hmm. We're going to do the best. Find the actor. This will knock Just him out. Just like football, you build up an analogy. Had another oh. man on the buttocks. What? Then the whole thing falls apart and everyone gets brain damage. Uh, alright. Good philosophy, good philosophy. So much does it take this to do now? I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do no, you understand? This wall, Frank. Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Nina. <gasps> Please don't turn around. Oh. Nee, nee, nee. So are we taking his costume? What's his costume? What part does he play? What role is he? Oh man. Look at that tux. Holy shit. Get in the car. So I hope I don't know if I'm gonna beat this tonight though. I mean, it's midnight, and it's Monday, Monday, Monday midnight, Monday at midnight. But I don't know if I'm gonna beat this tonight. What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post. At least get him a mask or makeup or something. Get out of the car, dumbass! Oh, my bad. Look out the wall. Sorry. I shoot up my car. Ow, God. You can jump out any time. You know what? Here, get out. Get out. Actually, no. No, you're staying. I need to get the fuck out of here. Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko. Get off the wheel, woman. You fuck. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? Stop, stop, stop. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What's this? Spikes? I drop spikes. What do you mean, the whip? I could. You dick! I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underest. Oh, see you later. Oh, I thought I just pumped my own tires. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. I overestimating your own talent. Ah, shit, man, he ain't coming back. What? Why did I just I do that? You're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stop the car! No. They're mine now. Stockholm syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! Nope. Look, German. I respect you as an I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Damn, what's this button do? It's popping right. Get to the side of the <gasps> <gasps> oh, that works. 
If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The yeah, studio no has enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, yes. Both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Will do, lady. Molly. Trevor's secret crush. It's not so secret. All right. So, uh, suspicious figure is looking around this garage, huh? I'll be sure to, uh, murder anybody suspicious I might see. When am I gonna see my crazy aunt again? Like, should be like the ending boss. Kill your aunt. I mean, wouldn't that just be crazy? Or Lamar. Either the aunt or Lamar. Wow, you're a fag. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. It's pretty ah, ironic, right practice. there. Ooh, shit. No, 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 no. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the ship. No. Oh, no. yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's Please, exactly God, no. Yeah, right man, there, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. Here's what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm not mistaken, that is I'm car number four. My legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Mission pass. Not a scratch, and definitely didn't get that fastest speed, 95%. So I could have gone faster. I don't know what second strike is, but uh, Michael, Michael mission, Michael, Michael, no, what am I doing, tab, hey, I need a cab, we're going to see corners tonight, I'm going to drive it right around the corner, alright, thank you know, this street corner isn't very popular, uh. What's up? How you doing? Apple. You dusty fucking cheapskate. Hello. Uh, is that a donut? Piece of shit. Hit me first. Swing first. Swing first. I swung first. Sorry, my taxi's here. Taxi's here. Taxi, hurry, drive, drive, drive. Where can I take you? To Michael. Hurry, drive faster. It was close. It was real close. I almost bit the dust right there. That's the ride, my man. I haven't been here in a while. Hey there, what's shaking? Oh, that was awkward. Don't ever say it to me again. <laughs> 